we actually just passed the Red Fort, which I've decided to completely skip because I did. I've done a couple of forts recently, and they're really, really taxing because they really like you have to walk for hours, and, and to be honest, the temperature is just really hot. It's, it must be 40 degrees today at least. I'm Tasha from Travel and Tash. Today I'm telling you the story of how I was introduced to this particular book, Eat, Pray, Love. It's a really cool book, but I want to tell you the backstory. Mr. V, thank you so much for reminding me about this particular story that I want to share with everybody now. I'm recording a series about the weird and wonderful, crazy and strange things that have happened to me in my travels and currently I'm doing a series on my stories from India. I was sitting on a rooftop in Jodhpur and it's in the area of Rajasthan, the desert in northern India. I was up there because I was a guest at that particular guest house for maybe three to four days. And there I met another traveller. I don't recall his name. He was a amateur director, movie director from Mumbai. We were sitting on the rooftop for, it must have been several hours. And it was wonderful because the rooftop was completely open. Like you could just see the blanket of stars like right above you at night time. And the weather was wonderful actually. At night time in May, in northern India, the weather was perfect. I'm not saying anything about the daytime though, but at night time, the weather was, the temperature was lovely. So it was very easy to sit on a terrace and chat for hours with the other guests. And so this fella, he was asking me so many questions and he ended up listening to a lot of my life story. And I don't know, he came to the conclusion that he was like, you remind me of a character from a book called Eat, Pray, Love. Have you read that? And I was like, no and he was like have you seen the film and i was like no you know i've seen posters and stuff advertising it around but i've never seen it and he was like oh you know it's julia roberts um you know the star actress in it and and i was like no i haven't watched it and he was like okay the very next day i was out and about wandering through jodhpur and, and doing all the amazing things that there are to do there came back in the evening and he turned up on the roof again you know he was also a guest staying in the same guest house and he was like you know i have a gift for you here's a book and he was like he presented me with eat pray love you know he had been to several different bookstores to try and find it for me and he found it at a secondhand bookstore and i was taken aback so my curiosity was sparked about this particular book and and why he thought that you know, I'd really enjoy it and that the character reminded him of me or that I've reminded him of um, that particular movie, I should say, or that film. Months later, I actually decide to start reading the book and, um, you know, I could see definitely a few similarities there, love of travel and, you know. Anyway, without going too deep into anything, um, let's just say that right near the end there were like 30 pages missing from this book and I was just like ah! and um, anyway I I completed that book but minus the 30 pages so I now have another copy that hopefully has those 30 particular pages <laughs> I've never encountered a book before that actually had missing pages but I'm reading it for the second time now and I'm enjoying it again actually it's actually it's one of those books that you can read twice or even probably three or four times but um that's the story of how I was introduced to this particular book I'd love to know more about the interesting characters that you have met on your travels there there have been so many so many incredible characters you know that that you meet and, and actually meeting people travelers in particular are some of the most interesting moments for me from traveling I love hearing people's stories and it's interesting because sometimes they'll pin you down and they'll make sure that you tell them your one and uh, anyway thank you so much for watching this particular story I've got more coming from India or someplace else I would love to hear some of your comments 
down below.